Hi, this is Barb with EasyQ Studio, and today I thought I would share with you how to get started using the EasyQ Studio app. The first thing that you need to do is to find your inspiration. The inspiration for this quilt behind me was a vintage tablecloth that I found in a thrift store. And I thought that this fruit basket motif would look really great if I cut it up and put it with an alternating block and created a two block quilt. So the first thing that I did was I put my design down on paper. I have a 12 inch finished block and I needed to assign each one of the squares on my graph paper a value. So for a 12 inch block, each square on my paper equals two inches. And my design square is a six by six area of graph paper. And from there, I decided, you know, how I wanted my layout to be and what I wanted my alternating block design to be. So pretty straightforward, once I had my design, I'm ready to go on to the next step, which is understanding the number of pieces that I need in order to determine the amount of yardage I need to create my quilt. So what I do is I break down the components of each block. So using this one as an example, I have four gray squares that are in each alternating block and I have eight alternating blocks, so I need 32 gray squares. I have four green half square triangles in each block and I need a four inch finish size and I have eight alternating blocks so I need 32 green half square triangles and I write all that down and what I tally up is for each individual piece in each block the piece that I need the shape that I need and then the finish size and that's it once your design is down on paper and you understand what the components are that you need to build your block, you are good to go. If you have any questions about the information in this video, you can always send us an email through our website.